Welcome to our presentation. My name is Jack. My project partners are Paul and Tim. And our project is MEGA, an intuitive early computer science educational platform that we would like to introduce to you. Now, what is MEGA? MEGA is an intuitive and early computer science education platform that is meant to improve how students first learn to code. Our project is built upon a pre-existing text editor called Kilo, named as such because it contains 1,000 lines of code and was created with the purpose of being a starting point for other engineers to write more advanced editors or command line interfaces. Our version has been made to improve the way students first learn to code by allowing them to interact with an editor and a shell to improve the stylistic aspects of their programming. This will then help them to differentiate between good and bad coding practices. This brings us to MEGA's mission statement. The reason MEGA was created is because of the statistic seen in the graph here. You'll notice from this graph that STEM majors have been on the rise, but computer science is the least popular of those STEM majors. It has only seen a 10.1% increase in individuals graduating with a bachelor's degree. Though this could be for a variety of reasons, MEGA was created to tackle two of them in particular, to maintain people's interest levels and to make the subject less daunting and difficult to learn. Our goal is to attract computer science talent enhance their education, and retain future students by getting them out there in the job force to fill all of the openings in the tech industry. So what are the key components and algorithmic interactions of MEGA? There's the instructor's portal, the editor, shell, and analysis engine. The project starts with the professor creating the assignment in the instructor's portal. This is where they can build the assignment, create the hints, and generate everything that they want so that the student can complete their assignment. Once the student receives the assignment and the package, they will Im import it into the editor shell where they can work on their assignment and view hints that the professor has given to them. All of the data will be collected in the editor and shell and be sent to the analysis engine. The analysis engine will compile all the data collected in the editor shell from the student and complete a comprehensive report and send it back to the professor where the professor can view it back in the instructor's portal and analyze all of the students' data. So how does the analysis engine of MEGA work? MEGA's analysis engine consists of two parts, analyzing on development and summarizing for reporting. In analyzing on development, MEGA's analysis engine takes the data collected by the editor and the shell which includes keystrokes, timestamps, line numbers, and other relevant metrics. And it uses this data to generate hints and suggestions for the student. These hints help the stu students complete their assignments more effectively, and they serve as a learning platform. So the second part of Vega's analysis engine is summarizing for reporting. So this second part is where the data collected from the editor and shell and the, the, the data collected from a student's submission is used to generate various different graphs and analytics for professors so they can more effectively teach their classes and understand different patterns in the way that students code. For code formatting, MEGA's analysis engine utilizes a Java Spoon library that will parse through a student's code and analyze its structure. From there, the reformatter will produce an output of much cleaner organized code structure that the student can utilize upon submission, while also teaching them better practices for code organization. On top of this, a comment finder can be utilized to encourage more comments when coding and to discourage individuals from putting in too many as well. For a student's homework, MEGA utilizes a second aspect from the Spoon Library, which traverses a file and prints out relevant information about method calls within the file that the student has written. This information can differentiate between object versus static calls, as well as useful analysis of the individual methods. While the information displayed looks confusing, 
Mega supplies a readme that explains each portion of the file traversal aspect that the student can read up on and learn more about. The third part of the Mega's hidden menu is the red regular expressions menu. This is where the preferences that the professor set in the portal are attached to the file that the student has been working on. So when they access this part of the menu, they will see the professor's hints specifically in real time that the professor wanted. So for example, the professor may have input in the portal while creating the assignment that there should be no spaces to start a line. When the student is building their project and for some reason has spaces at the start of a line and they access this menu, this hint will appear showing that the professor specifically didn't want that so that they should remove it. Once it is removed, it'll be updated in real time and that hint will no longer be in the hint menu. Next, I'm going to show you a video demo of Mega's Instructors Portal. So Mega's Instructors Portal is a comprehensive graphical user interface for configuring and analyzing data, statistics, and configurations pertaining to an instructor's assignment. So the first thing that an instructor does is log in. Then they select the submission of a particular student as well as the particular assignment that they want to look at, which is updated on the bottom left in a status bar. Then they can view various different data points. This includes non-text keystrokes, like control C or control V with timestamps, the code that a student wrote, which includes the specific keystrokes, the, the line number associated with the keystroke, each timestamp. This provides a snapshot of the code a student wrote. Then the instructor can look at statistics. There are various different graphs that use the data collected from the editor and shell and the student submission in order to generate useful statistics. These statistics will be elaborated upon later on. Next is the hints menu of the instructor's portal where instructors can configure the specific hints that they want the editor to display to the student based upon the code that they are writing. This is one of Mega's core features, which really provides the student with an intuitive way to complete their assignment. And this is where Mega's analysis engine produces the data for the analysis upon development. So I wanted to go into depth a little bit more about the data. As was seen briefly, the plots in the portal show many different graphs explaining how the student approached and completed the assignment. The four bullet points here are the four different graphs that the professor will be able to see how the student completed those assignments. The first is number of keystrokes versus time, lines of, second one is the lines of code versus time, and then there's frequency of copy and paste and hint menu usage. For example, in this image, this is the frequency of copy and paste. On the x-axis, you can see February 22nd through March 3rd are six different dates the student had worked on the assignment and had data input uh, with copy and paste. And the y-axis shows how many times that was done. This is very helpful for the professor to see how they approached the problem, whether it was copy and pasting certain things, whether they cheated and copied and pasted. Uh, this is very relevant data for a professor to see how the student did what they did. And this is done with many other graphs, and this is all very helpful to the professor and for the students so that they can learn in better ways for the future. Thank you for listening. Join us in our mission at MEGA to attract, enhance, and retain computer science talent.